Okay, in this video I am going to attempt to make a screw knob for uh, woodworking jigs or um, maybe my table saw fence clamps. So what I have here is I have this socket. I'm not sure what size it is. And it, if you look, it's, it's a 12-sided socket, so it's going to leave that kind of a edge on the outside so you can grab a hold of it to tighten it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to put it inside here. And what that's for, that will uh, raise this up. It'll bottom out against that. And then I'm going to take a washer, put it down in there, get it flat in there. It sits on the lip at the bottom there. And that'll help center the the bolt and the stud. Put that in there. And then what I want to do is I want to adjust this so that the nut is going to be sticking up a little bit from the bottom. So the plastic will form around the bottom of it. That should... That should work right there. Maybe go up a little bit more. A little more. Okay. We're going to rub Crisco oil in around all of this to hopefully help keep it from sticking too much. So got that all set. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use a heat gun to melt the plastic like I did in my other video. And washer over the top. Try and okay, now we'll just let that cool down and harden and we'll see how that turned out. It's um, it's cooled down some. I don't know if it's cooled down enough, but we'll see if it'll push out of here. Oh yeah, it came out pretty easy actually. It looks like maybe I didn't uh, compress it enough. You can. See if I can get the washers off. Okay, there's one.
All right, well, that's a nice flat, nice flat surface. Okay, now we'll see if this can get this in. Yeah, just unscrew that. Now the nut I put in there is embedded in the plastic. But you know, I don't know if uh, the threads that it creates in the plastic itself might be enough. I'll have to do a test on that and see how well that that holds. Well, other than the rough rough surface, I think if I would have compressed it more, it would have been more smooth. But that'll just help with the with the grip. So I need to trim that off, trim this end, and. Uh, But uh, I think that turned out pretty good. Okay, so here it is after I've uh, cleaned it up. It's a little rough from the sandpaper. Could use finer sandpaper, I guess. To, or you could somehow clamp it down, run it through the table saw, or cut it on a bandsaw. This here, I cut this down with a table saw and it left, you can see the little bit of swirl mark from the blade, but uh, that turned out pretty good. So now, we'll take this wing nut off. And we'll put this on. So yeah, that that tightens down good on there. So there you go. You can uh, you can make your own knobs with uh, melted plastic.